stop getting stopped out. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get into more winning trades by following one simple process. I've been trading the Forex markets for seven years, and today I'm going to be giving you my process that stopped emotional trading and gave me consistent, repeatable entries. Let's get into the video. So everyone's focused on entries, but not many are focused on the key element that get you those consistent winners. And this is going to be a part one of three. So for the next three weeks, I'm going to be giving you three processes starting with today's video that we use at NJAT to give you more winning trades. So the first process that we always use, and this is probably one of the most important things that you will learn in entries, is using a safe stop loss for every single entry that you take. And every single entry needs to be consistent in your series of trades. As a professional, I think about where my stop is placed before I enter the trade. And if I can't get a safe stop, I do not enter. And the reason for that is if my trade idea is correct, the high or low that I'm putting my stop above or below or the range or OB that I'm playing will hold if I am correct. If I'm wrong, then I've given myself the best opportunity to get into the correct trade. Trading is about sticking to your rules, never breaking them, doing what you're supposed to do. So when we have a look at the chart now i'm going to show you the difference between consistency and inconsistency so what i'm doing here my rules and rules can be as simple as you like or as complex as you like it really depends on what you've seen in the market depends on your experience and it depends on what you want to play in the market what you see as high probability what you see as a high probability trading idea we'll show you exactly how to build these high probability trading ideas in ngat but it's for you to execute them and go through the execution process to find out exactly where to put your stop and exactly where you want your entries to go. So we see here, we have a sideways range. Price is contained between the high and the low here before price initiated to the upside. We have a bunch of liquidity sat just before that mitigation that can be used to transact new orders into the market. So it's used as volume. So as we see now, we have our trading location. My rules say that I have to put my entry at the open of the range and for my trade idea to play out the price will not go below the low of the range if price moves through my stop loss my trade idea is wrong and then i take a loss if price reacts from this area and continues we're playing that range initiation mitigation continuation which that means price will target the five for that continuation if i'm correct i will be safe because they'll be protecting the orders inside this range. Price will never go below a range if they're protecting the orders inside a range. And then we'll see continuation to the upside. So this is my trade idea. This is my rules, if you like, in the market. And I'll try to tap into my order and continue. Now I'm either going to use a limit order and set it here ahead of time, or I can execute the trade with a safe stop loss in the moment. Now, I see a lot of entries that look a lot like this, and this is how a lot of people trade, and this is the complete wrong way to trade. So let's just bar replay this, and I'm going to show you in the moment how a lot of people think. So this is my entry area. People see price delivering like this. It's moving down very aggressively into their point of mitigation, and what do they do? They take the trade idea off, they watch price, and they say, well, instead of looking to enter here as per my rules, I'm going to wait to see more and they want to see more because they aren't a hundred percent confident with the trade so essentially you, what you're doing is you're waiting for more you aren't entering the trade exactly how it should be entered which is within your rules you're waiting to see more so price moves into the area you see the reaction and it, it's not a very aggressive reaction so thoughts start coming into your head of well price might just tap it and then just continue and then you know I'm, i will take a loss you get all these thoughts about how trading isn't. Trading is not about knowing what's going to happen next. It's about playing a setup and a trade idea that has a probability stacked in your favor. So when you see price tap into this area and you get a couple of reactions and price is closed here, then you're starting to think, well, this isn't a very aggressive close. So I'm going to wait for more. Suddenly you wait for a next candle and this is where you enter. You're like, right, price is going now. Let me jump in. Let me get in aggressively. Your stop then goes below that low or sometimes it can even be in the middle. I've seen a lot of people do where they just jump into the trade and they don't have a safe stop loss. They're expecting to be that next higher low in the market for a continuation to the upside. So you can play it in two different ways. As long as your stop goes underneath one of these lows, depending on whether you're playing the reaction or you're playing the range, you're always going to have the safest stop loss because then your stop loss is in line with the trade idea that you're playing as per your rules. So a lot of people take this trade here, they'll get involved in the trade, price will finally move in the direction that they want, 
they see price moving away then they start to see price slow down and start to pull back and at this point what a lot of people do they'll see price moving against them with this aggressive bearish candle here and think right price is going to come down and stop me out now so they'll move their stop to break even like so so like this this way of trading is very emotional so you're doing a lot of thinking all the way down to the entry to how you've managed the trade you're thinking too much you've already pre-planned exactly how you're going to trade your safe stop loss is exactly where your rules tell you it is thinking is a trading error this is what mark douglas has said so as you can see here you've thought too much your rules say entry here stop underneath here you've wanted to wait for more because you see price moving aggressively down into entry then you've seen price move aggressively away and you've got into the trade late already you've made two trading errors because you haven't respected your rules entering based off impulsive decisions these aren't pre-planned your rules are what you have seen work in they are your edge so all your focus needs to go on the process of execution making every execution perfect and that is how you win forget one trade at a time until you can execute 10 or 20 trades perfectly with zero trading errors and trading errors are emotional decisions where you think in the moment only then you can judge yourself properly so like i said the price has started moving against you your stop loss isn't protected so if price does pull back here into this entry and this becomes that a to b pullback set another higher low to create a bullish trend in the market then you're going to be left and stopped out instead of just playing the trade exactly how it should have been and playing the probabilities of the trade playing out or not so let's just play this forward so a lot of people will obviously move to break even at this stage because you haven't got the perfect entry you then see price moving away against you and this is another thing that people do they start to see price moving against them after they've taken a break even and they say right price is going to continue now so you get in again so again you're making trading error after trading error because you're making emotional decisions because you're just not following simple rules and that's because you're looking for certainty in the market you're looking for right i need to win price has to do what i think it's going to do oh it's moved away now i need to get back in again my you know it's very emotional in the moment thinking trading isn't about certainty it's about probability every time you do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it you put the probabilities in your favor every time you do what you're not supposed to do you lose your edge in the market and you start gambling you trade with uncertain outcomes with an edge in your favor so what that means is that i don't know if price is going to play out here every single time but as long as i follow the same rules and i put my entry where i'm supposed to put my entry which is pre-planned i put my stop in a safe location so that if this trade idea plays out i can put my stop under here and i'll be safe if i do this 10 times in a row and this is high probability trading setup that i have deemed in my experience then if this plays out let's say five out of ten times or three out of ten times or four out of ten times my risk to reward is one to ten so as long as i can put my stop in the right place my entry in the right place ten times i will win over a series of trades not an individual one trade at a time i will be winning over a series and that's how you need to look at trading as a series of 10 executions 10 perfect executions this way of trading here to the right this is very emotional this is gambling so if you trade like this at the moment you are in fact gambling and then you end up taking losses as price moves against you and then you end up getting taken out of the trade so you might even see price continue here you get very excited then what happens price drops out takes you out of another trade you might have got taken out of two trades and you might be in two losses at this point but if you had just put your entry exactly where your rule said and you put your stop exactly where your rules said and you move to break even as per your rules this is the trade that you would be in the one that is the correct trade the one that you're supposed to be in and the reason price is moving with you at this point is because you've done everything that you're supposed to do for this trade you've executed your trade exactly how it's supposed to be exactly how your rules say to enter your trade and you have the outcome you have a probabilistic outcome now that is not a gamble that is following a repeated process that you can use over and over again to extract money out of the market on a consistent basis this is what trading is you have to think about your rules you have to think about flawless execution of your system 
and you have to think about trading in a series of 10 or 20 trades. It's not about one trade at a time. Forget thinking about one trade at a time. Judge yourself after you've executed 10 trades perfectly or 20 trades perfectly. Only then judge yourself. Every time you execute a trade as you're supposed to, you add more energy to a belief system that thinks in probabilities as well. So when I showed you about entering the market late and getting stopped out and then entering the market again, you're not thinking in probabilities at this point. You're thinking in a gambling mindset. You're thinking too much about outcome. When you've entered here with your stop underneath the low, which is a safe stop, now you're thinking in probabilities because you know that it's not about the outcome to this trade. It doesn't matter what happens past this point. This price action doesn't matter. What matters is that you've identified your opportunity in the market. You've identified the setup. It's high probability. It's in line with the higher time frame. You've got multiple confluences stacked in your favor. You've flawlessly executed it exactly how it's supposed to be, exactly how your rules say. And then you've seen the trade play out or it's not played out. That's probabilistic thinking. You're focusing on the process of doing well and the outcome takes care of itself. So let's have a look at another opportunity now so we can start to think about how we can develop this mindset. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly how I enter trades. I'm gonna show you how professionals enter trades so you can see the difference between emotional thinking in the moment and you can see the difference between what a professional does in the moment. So we have our trade idea. We have range, initiation, mitigation, continuation. I've looked back in the range. I found the exact candle that I want to play that's taken liquidity before initiating. So this is my entry area. My entry goes here, my stop loss goes underneath this low because if price breaks this low, we may break out and change order flow into bearish order flow. Right now, I'm playing continuation to the upside. So I'm expecting that this high is gonna get taken for continuation. So, so where do I wanna enter the market here? Where is my stop loss going underneath this low? Limit order only and leave the trade on, done. That is my process. I don't need to do anything else. There's no thinking, it's stress free. I've already predefined exactly where my stop's going to go, exactly where my entry's going to go for my trade either to play out. My entry's are always 1 to 10, so I put my TP on 1 to 10. I don't change it. If I see price tap me into this trade and explode up, I don't remove my, my take profit. This is all predefined. I know exactly where my stop's going. I know exactly where my entry's going. I know exactly what my take profit is. So then, cool, I've put a limit order on and we let price play out. Price is coming down into my entry. It's tapped me in. Seen a reaction away. We've seen aggression and speed back to the upside at the moment. For me, my rules say I don't move my stop to break even until this high gets taken out up here. So again, I just sit back and I allow the trade idea to play out. Moved back into that mitigation. We've seen another reaction away. We see aggression and speed to the upside. Again, patience at this point. I'm not doing anything. Notice how stress-free this trading is. I know exactly where my entry goes. I know exactly where I'm moving my stop to break even. I know exactly what my take profit system is. I don't need to think. All the thinking has been done when I created my edge in the market. When I spent all the days and the time and the hours testing my entry, forward testing my entry, all the observation hours that I've done to figure out an edge in the market so that I can come to the session, execute my edge perfectly and have a stress-free trading day. All of this has been done. I don't need to think anymore. So let's continue. Price breaks the high here. I move my stop to break even here, right? Stop loss goes to break even at this point at my entry point. Now I let the trade idea play out. There's nothing else I can do. For me, I walk away from the charts at this point. My job is done after I've moved my stop to break even. I don't need to do anything more. The trade is even going to play out and hit 10% or it's going to take me out for a break even. If I was to sit at the charts and watch this, all I'm going to do is start to read price in live time. So we can see that price has pulled back now. We've taken out the high. We're in a pullback. It's either going to become a pullback and continuation. And we've created a new sideways range. We've initiated to the upside. And then price has hit take profit here. So what we saw is price took out the high. We pulled back. We created a new sideways range here. And then we initiated to the upside, which is a continuation of bullish order flow. Exactly what you would want to see if you got involved in this trade. Then my trade hits take profit. 
I take a picture of this, I add it to my journal, I record the trade and I continue about my day. And that is how stress-free trading is when you have the right processes, when you don't think in the moment, when you come to the market and you flawlessly execute your system. This is exactly what trading is. This is exactly what trading is supposed to be. This is the holy grail that people tell you about. This is how stress-free trading can actually be. Focus on doing everything perfectly as per your rules. It's not easy at first. It doesn't come very easily because you have to break down a lot of belief systems like executing the, a trade in the moment. You know, that's not that doesn't come very easily to stop doing that. But the more you flawlessly execute your system, the less you'll start to do silly things and make silly mistakes. And that's where you'll go into that process and you'll start to build that belief system that it's like you to execute your system flawlessly, then it will become easier and easier and easier. But you can't expect this to happen overnight. This takes time, effort, and consistent focus on exactly what you want and making decisions in line with that future person that you want to become. It is uncomfortable. Change is very uncomfortable. But stick with the process, get around people that are consistently winning, get around people that are consistently executing their processes flawlessly, 